Yo, what up, it's Don. Sammy Lee here. We, of course, are the Soul Brothers. How you guys doing? Uh, back in here with the versus video. This time on the casual tip. Yes. Um, Adidas versus Adidas Crime, though. This is the Ultra Boost, the classic, the legendary. What is this, a 3.0? Yeah. 3.0. It's just, I don't it's know. It's all the same, man. It's just like little different knit patterns. Yes. Uh, anyways, versus the... BYW Boost you wear. This is 170 bucks, and that's 180 bucks, and they're both very boosty. So I thought yeah. this would be a very good um, uh, versus video. I don't know if the boost you wear is going to be a big silhouette where yeah. like a lot of people get it, right? It's not going to be like the ultra boost yeah, for damn sure. So. But hopefully it is because I like yeah. how it looks, but I like how exclusive it is and <clears throat> how little people are wearing it right now that's what's dope you know because like i see a lot of ultra boosts i see a lot of nmds and i like to be exclusive i like to have my own shit you know what yeah. i'm saying uh, which i don't know if you guys like to do that too but anyway be under the radar a little bit under the hype is always nice yes you know um all right so let's start it off the ultra boost has you know it has a little rubber outsole yes we give you a little bit of durability it's continental rubber in this version so it's just supposed to be a little bit more durable. I know? feel like a lot of people run through their Ultra Boost. Yeah, like I mean, rubber the, really definitely the ones without the Continental were, you know, they all have continent, real quick. Continental, don't they? Well, mine don't. I'm talking about the older oh, ones. Oh, like the 1.0s? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, even if it's Continental, Continental, um, I feel like you can wear, wear through it pretty quickly. I don't know about the boost you wear, um, but it does still seem like a, a pretty soft rubber. It's thicker but softer. Yes, or maybe is it thicker? Maybe even it might it might even be like a, like the same thickness. Yeah. So I feel like if you use it a lot, you might wear through the boost you wear uh, mm -hmm. traction also. So uh, both I don't think are very durable. And but um, you, you know for walking you'd have to do a lot of walking. A lot of walking. You yes. know, yes. but but hey. still even if you're doing a lot of walking, in, in like a year, um, you pro you're probably gonna run through it. Yeah. So. All right, uh, moving on to the midsole boost versus boost. Yes. This is ultra boost. Full length. The boostiest of the boost. Um, it's uh, it's nice. I feel like the pure boost one point, uh, the original pure boost is the boostiest boost. So. Yeah, that in the heel, the, that shit's crazy. That in the, uh, the EQT boost, EQT is, boost is pretty is gnarly pretty too. Crazy too. But the ultra boost <laughs> is kind of like a nice little medium between that and like a really stiff cushion. You yeah. Know? But yeah, the ultra boost has a really crazy compression or not crazy but like it has a good compression in the heel uh and you can definitely feel your foot go into the cushion all throughout your throughout the bottom of your foot you know like your heel squishy. your forefoot your toes all that it feels really squishy and um there is no strobe board i don't think it's kind of like the pure boost where there is an insole but then yeah there's an um insole. there is an insole but underneath that there's no hard um there's like a strobel web. Yeah. Right? You know, it's like it's not a board. It's just like a little fabric. Which makes it uh, so that your foot can really <clears throat> feel the, the cushion. Yeah. So it, it's a really nice, soft uh, cushion setup, and I, I love it. Everyone loves it, yeah. you know? So there's that. Um, the boost you wear, I'm not sure about the um, the uh, strobel board or anything because it's glued in. I don't really want to take it out. Um, but if you want to just take it out just a little bit. Yeah, so it is a thick, or it's not a thick, it's a, the hard board. board yeah. yeah. So it's not like the webbed <laughs> one where they're using the pure boost and stuff like that. Um, it is a little bit hard to feel the boost and it, def it definitely doesn't have like a deep compression that like the ultra boost does in the heel. Um, and it also feels a little bit lower to the ground. It's kind of, kind of crazy because the, the boost looks so thick yeah. in the boost you wear, but it, I feel like it's because the boost comes up a lot on the sides. Yeah. But I feel like what your foot is actually resting on is uh, not too thick of a boost. Probably you know not as thick as this. Yeah, probably not as thick as that. It's probably a little bit thinner. Um, so yeah, it's you can. It's still a really soft cushion setup, but it's it doesn't have a, uh, as much of a compression as mm -hmm. the Ultra Boost, and um, not as soft. It's still a really soft cushion, but I don't think it's as soft as Ultra Boost. So it's so, not as comfortable casually? I guess. I mean, it's still a really comfortable casual shoe. I really like this because the Ultra Boost sometimes, uh, I guess if you if you want like a stiff, a stiff a stiffer ride, I guess you can choose the boost you wear. But the Ultra Boost is still a really nice cushion setup. Mm -hmm. So um, 
Yeah, I would say the Ultra Boost is a little bit comfort more comfortable. Yeah. All right, moving on to the upper. Um, of course, you already know about the Ultra Boost upper. It's a real nice prime knit. Got a little three stripe cage here, um, and it's a one booty upper. Just real nice, man. Yeah, it's super stretchy though. Yeah. Um, the boost you wear has um <laughs> has like a textile, uh, and like a polyester type of material and some suede touches. It doesn't stretch at all. You know, um, it's it's really soft and pliable, but it doesn't stretch at all. So I would say it's a little bit more supportive. So if you're doing more like lateral movements, I guess that's good. Casually, I don't yeah. know what you're gonna be doing, but uh, if you like a more supportive upper, then go with the boost you wear. Um, sizing, uh, go treat it, true to your Adidas size for both of the shoes. The Ultra Boost runs pretty damn narrow, and then the boost you wear runs more on like normal mm -hmm. width. So uh, there's that. Another thing is, um, I like the one booty upper on the Ultra Boost because it has a heel tab and you can just slip it on. But for the boost you wear, you can't really do that. You have to un uh, uh, you have to untighten the laces and then put your foot in and tighten up the laces again, which I don't like to do in casual or casual shoes. I Ain't just nobody like got time for that. You know what I'm saying? Even though it takes like 10, 20 seconds, it's still annoying for me. So um, that's just a little minor gripe I have uh, with the boost you wear. We on the weight. Let's see what's lighter. Boost you wear is light. No, it's it's okay. It's medium, twelve point five two ounces. For a casual shoe, it's not great. Ooh, the Ultra Boost is nine point four five. So what's lighter? Obviously, the Ultra Boost yeah. is way lighter. That's what feels lighter. The Ultra Boost. Uh, the uh, materials are super thin and stuff, but the boost is just so like thick and chunky, mm -hmm. um, like chunky feeling because this it comes up a lot in the side. Um, that it feels a little bulky, you know? Yeah. So there's that. Um, aesthetics? Aesthetics, Ultra okay, Boost. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong. But I, I like the boost you wear, so. Those are, those are dope, too. EY Dubs. Um, what else? Ventilation? Ventilation. And these are a little, like, you know, these will keep your foot warm a little yes. bit. And if it's cold out, and if it's hot, they'll be a little warm. Yes. What about those? Boost you wear, I would say it's a little bit uh, more ventilated. Mm. It's a little bit cooler, you right. know, so. There's that. Yeah, and then uh, overall durability. Mm. I feel like they're both not the most durable shoes. Yeah, right I mean, if you're, if you're doing some hard walking, you know, <laughs> Damn. Uh, they're probably not gonna last a little Hiking, too long. Okay. Yeah. No, I guess let's wrap it up. 170 for the boost you wear, 180 for the ultra boost. Nothing crazy. What's more comfortable? I would say the Ultra Boost is a little bit more comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, but the Boost you wear is actually, it holds its own. It's still a really comfortable shoe. Yeah. Um, if you want something different and um, you like the Boost you wear, I guess, you can definitely go ahead and cop this because it's still really comfortable. Yeah, if you're, if you're trying yeah. to flex a little bit, you know, you might want to go with the Boost you wear. I yeah. mean, aesthetically. And Even though to, the Ultra Boost is more expensive. Yeah, it's more expensive, but it's but just I mean, more of like a more exclusive, I average, guess. basic uh, shoe at this point. Yeah. I mean, it's just more uh, generic. Yeah. I don't want to say basic. It's but not basic, but it's, yeah. a lot of people have the Ultra exactly. Boost. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, if you want, then definitely go ahead and cop the Boost you wear if you want something different. But what's comfort more comfortable for me, I would say the Ultra Boost mm -hmm. uh, is a little bit more comfortable, even though the Boost you wear is still comfortable. Yeah. So there you go. That's the Versus video. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next one. Later. Peace.